Yeah, that's the day I really proved myself to Philly. I proved my loyalty to him, and that's when I started getting sent on jobs where before, you know, we normally send eggs. And eggs was okay with that? No, no way. See, over time, eggs kind of distanced himself more and more from Philly and me, but we were way too busy to take much notice. Didn't you guys have more trouble with the feds after Philly had bumped off the old man? Oh, yeah. See, Philly wanted everyone to know that things were going to change. Now, ever since I'd collected the printing plates, the FBI had been watching us night and day, listening equipment, all that kind of stuff, from a building across the road. Philly wanted to send them a little message, and I was the delivery boy. You take This place had been a hangout for hookers as long as I can remember. After a few hands of cards and a bottle or two of Philly's best vino, some of the guys used to come over here to see the girls. Not me. Hey, Joey. Want some business today? Okay, okay. Maybe I'd been here once or twice before, but that was just business. Feds had themselves up on the first floor of the building overlooking Philly's place in Little Italy, room 106. And the hookers, they were just helping the feds get through those long stakeouts away from the bureau. And their wives. If you like it rough, that'll cost you. Apartment 106. This is where the feds had set up shop. I was just about to smash that machine to fucking little pieces when I heard a familiar voice. It was Eggs. It's me, we got a problem. The trail's got cold again. This is taking a little longer than I thought. Well, you people covered their tracks too fucking well, so it's gonna take a little more time, okay? I honestly can't fucking believe you don't know where the fuck the goal was meant to end up. All right, look, we need to keep this quiet, okay? The last thing we need is every mobster in town knowing that there's a million in gold just laying around somewhere waiting to be picked up. Now, I didn't know who Eggs was talking to, but I had a pretty good idea what he was talking about. The gold from back in Nam. Anyway, I didn't really have time to ponder the matter. Philly wanted the wiretap taken out of commission. His so-called little message. Oh, man. I just had that girl over in 101. She did things my wife couldn't even begin to imagine. Who the hell? Free! I told you before, I thought the feds were using the Corellis to get to us. Well, it wasn't that way at all. I found out later that the Corellis were the ones in the driver's seat. And then the shit really hit the fan. The door out of the room had been fucking locked, and the only way out of there was up to the rooftops. Hey, you okay? We'd never exactly seen eye to eye with the Corellis, but even Philly couldn't have guessed that they would have sided with the feds. Come on, no fucking way this was a legit FBI operation. Please don't kill me. At the time, I wasn't sure which would be worse, getting caught by the feds having to tell Philly that his message had been a little louder than he'd wanted it to be. Put the gun down! Coffin for you, fucko. <laughs> Come on, Joey, keep calm. Get a 
across the rooftops into the next building. Bad guys ain't gonna go away anytime soon. <laughs> Philly found out later that a deal had gone down between some bent feds and the Corelli family. The feds were on the take, and the Corellis were the ones doing the pain. We got him. Go, go! It's time to get off the roof. Feds were all over the place, and if I didn't give them the slip soon, I was gonna run out of whatever luck I had left.
these fuckers out, then it's out of here, Joey. So I casually walked on down to the street below. Large crowd onlookers had formed below, giving me the perfect chance to slip away from there unnoticed. 